miss you most in the fall Three years, eleven months together After one night in Montreal Red leaves are in the breeze of Nashville And now I share this bed with someone new Something's in the way the sunlight's hidden It's got me thinking about you Maybe it's the long nights and the short cold days Or the rate that the planets change position Or maybe everything just has a time and place And that's why you Just like juniper in summer Oh, we were never meant to last Easy on the eyes But no way that we'd survive We were wilted, we were weathered Couldn't make it to September Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage of how I style my hair when I want to wear it curly. These are kind of the final results. I was just reading some comments in my Rizzo curl vlog and people were like, oh, bring more, bring more curly girl content to the channel. So I figured I would just quickly show you guys how I've been styling my hair, especially since getting it cut. If you're looking for some really great pre-poos, whether you have straight hair or curly hair, I definitely recommend Olaplex 3 and the Fable and Mane hair oil. It actually goes on your scalp, which is really, really great because it helps with hair growth. If you have a dry scalp, it honestly helps with oiliness. Like I know that sounds a little crazy, but like my hair gets greasy and I find when I use it on a regular day basis, I can go three days before washing my hair. So I recommend that for everyone. It has like Ayurvedic technology, if you will. So it like helps grow really long, thick hair. And I definitely have noticed a change in my hair since using it. But anyway, let's get on with the vlog. It is about two o'clock. I am going to walk Randall. I think I might bring him to the park just because it is such a nice day out. It's only like 46 degrees, which is just crazy for winter, especially in February. So I figured I'm going to take full advantage of the nice weather and bring him to the park. So let's go. Before we head out, I figured I would show you guys a outfit of the day. So I am gonna be wearing this Levi's jean jacket that is like lined with this like really cute cheetah print. I asked my Alexa what the weather was and she said it was like 49 degrees outside. So we'll see, I might be a bit cold. And then I'm wearing this graphic tee, this ice cube acid wash tee from Urban Outfitters. I'm wearing leggings from Fabletics and then I'm just wearing my Doc Martin like little Chelsea boots, honestly, just because they're comfy and easy and I don't have to like put shoelaces on and off. I'm just so sick of doing shoelaces. It's like such a Florida problem when you're like used to being in flip flops that like to put on sneakers or something is just such a pain in the butt. And then of course I have my mask. This one is actually from my manager. 
she, um, her last name is Snow, and so she um, has little snowflakes on this mask that she gave me when I was in Florida. So yeah, she's really cute. So let's walk Randall. <laughs> So we just got back from the park. I actually had to give Randall a bath because it's 50 degrees outside. So all the snow is, has been melting. So he was really gross and grimy. How adorable was that piano player? If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen on my story. I got another video, which I'm so mad I didn't get um, horizontally for you guys. Um, but the, this like old man in a walker started dancing. Um, he is there pretty often. Like whenever I'm there, I. I typically you see the older man dancing to the piano player so it's just so cute little things like that just always remind me how happy i am to live here and um how humbled i am to live here but anyway i am going to make myself an iced coffee because it is 50 degrees outside so i can actually drink iced coffee and not freeze my butt off and i bought iced coffee the other day so i figured i should just make it and save some money so i have my beautiful Starbucks cup. First thing I am going to do is put my ice cubes in my uh, cup. I hate, I absolutely hate ice cube trays. Like I always feel like, whoa, that was loud. I feel like no matter what the ice tastes, like whatever's in the freezer, but I just made these. So hopefully they'll be good. Next, I'm going to put in my coffee creamer. I like this silk dairy-free creamer. Um, I prefer the almond one. This is soy, but it's fine. It's the vanilla one. Just add a little bit of that. That was a lot, but whatever. And then I am going to top it off with the Starbucks iced coffee that is unsweetened. I actually don't mind it. I, I prefer, honestly, um, this iced coffee versus like actually buying it from Starbucks. And for some reason, I feel like they always make it super, super bitter when you buy it in an actual Starbucks store. All right, mix that together with my straw. taste it's not bad i think i'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk a little bit of almond milk just make it a little bit more creamy here we go a diy starbucks not bad not bad hey guys so it is the next day yesterday got kind of chaotic I had to read a few scripts that my manager sent me and then she sent me actually an audition that is due today. That's why I'm dressed and looked like this. It's an 11 page audition. So that's pretty like long if you don't do acting. Typically TV and film auditions are around like two, three pages, especially for a first audition. And this was 11. So I kind of had to like put everything aside and memorize that and work on that. So I did that all yesterday and this morning and I had to my friend Brendan's apartment to do my self tape just because he has a really, really great setup. I ordered a couple things off Amazon. I have a good setup, but um, the lighting in my apartment is actually not that great. So I ordered a new light and the background that I have is like this bright blue. And for a while in self tapes, that was kind of acceptable, but now it's going more towards like gray and a little bit more neutral backgrounds. And I obviously want to put my best foot forward. So I ordered obviously updated stuff for my self taping here in New York just because I just moved so I only had my older stuff with me. Eventually I will be able to self tape here. For right now I'm going to head to my friend Brendan's house and he's going to help me and he's going to read. I have to play a 17 year old so <laughs> let me know if you think I can pass as a 17 year old. Um, I'm 24 so it's a bit of a stretch but you know we're giving it the best that we can. Um, it is snowing here, so I actually think I'm going to Uber to his apartment just because I don't really want to like wreck my hair. I think I'm going to Uber there and then just subway home. Um, it's about 3 o'clock, so I'm going to head to his apartment around 4, so I should leave here by like 3.30ish. So I'm just going to pack up my stuff and get going. So let's She's go. a Mona Lisa. Look who I'm with. Look at Mr. Brendan's setup. This is out of control. Literally so professional. This lighting. This lighting is unreal. I can't even. <laughs> I'm gonna vlog here from now on. <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's go. You see you walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be here. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life. What's on the show? What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. I am back. I tried to sh like tell you on the street what was going on, but I don't know if you guys can hear me in that club, so I'll just say again what went on. So basically I went to my friend Brendan's house to do my self tape for this audition that was 11 pages long, which is just like crazy long. And we like just finished. And so I, we finished filming. It took like an hour and a half. And I called my manager being like, hey, what do you want me to say in the slate? Like as far as height or all that shenanigans goes. And um, she was like, oh, that got cast already. So, oh, it's not her fault at all, but it just is so frustrating because like, I did 11 pages of an audition that's gonna go nowhere so that's kind of frustrating so i just got back i fed randall and i went to sweet green for dinner because i don't really have a ton of groceries and i just felt like i really wanted a salad and i just felt like i couldn't make a good salad by myself so i got this one i got the hot honey chicken one but i got it with tofu instead of chicken so let me show you guys I don't know about you guys, but I love sweet green salads. I think that there is nothing better in this world. Let me get the dressing on, shall we? Don't worry, I washed my hands after the subway and I got home. And I'm so happy to hear that this dressing is gluten-free and dairy-free. Yum. Okay. I'm gonna do a Kardashian salad shake, duh. Okay. Let's dig in. I've actually never had this one before. I normally make my own, but I kind of was in the mood for quinoa, which is weird. Let me get this whirl. Very, very good. Okay, now I'm gonna watch Designated Survivor and finish this. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is the next day. Today I'm going to go get my hair highlighted. I'm really, really excited. I go to a guy in Miami and he happens to be just in New York. So I'm going to go and get my hair done, but I figured I'd show you guys what I'm wearing first. So I am wearing this mask from Kitsch. It's really cute. It's like acid wash. I'm wearing my cute little necklaces. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton. This is from a boutique in Florida. And then I'm wearing this matching black set from Zara. And then I'm wearing my um, platform docks. So yeah, let's go. Also, I've literally had something in my eye for like the entire day. And that's by day, I mean morning, and my eye is like literally killing me. It's so annoying. But let's hop on the subway and let's head to the salon. Baby, I think I'm finally starting to get you. She told me through her teeth and a perfume. I never want to see you again. just got my hair done it looks so good he does just such a good job I love how he makes it look like it grows in really naturally and it just looks like my natural hair color when I was younger so I just love the way he does it and then the way the girl curls my hair just looks amazing so I'm so happy about that but it was such a pain in the ass basically I ended up 
having, I was going to take the subway and then I ended up having to get in a cab because I waited 20 minutes for the train to come and the train never came. So I was late to the appointment and then I finally got to the appointment and everything was totally fine. Um, but yeah, so I, my luck has just not been good in this vlog. Like literally I feel like everything that could go wrong has been going wrong, but whatever. It's currently snowing and I think I'm gonna head to the grocery store, but this vlog is getting kind of long. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.